Let's get some just quick messages from not even shuffling the cards, but I'm just going to pick one of each pile again, okay? I'm not going to touch them. I didn't shuffle them. Archangel Michael, please protect this message. Thank you with your light. Let's start. So I'm just I'm going to go around, all right? We're going to start with Father, all right? So something about a father suffering in silence. Somebody's father is suffering in silence because maybe you walked away. They're starting to miss you and shit. Rat. I don't know what that's doing here. Somebody's father is a rat. That's crazy. Okay. Let's keep it going. So, Avenger. So, you are very successful at balancing the scales of justice in society on behalf of good. I feel like this is like good. Yeah. Like, you're very intuitive. You're very good at picking your battles. You plan your battles very wisely. You choose them wisely. Okay? Jealous. Somebody is jealous of this trait that you have, that you pick your battles wisely and you always win. And this is why. Because you choose the ones that you know you want already, okay? Cheat. What's up with this cheat? Somebody's cheating and trying to say that they're the light, but they didn't want to go through the dark to get there. That ain't going to fly, partner. Yeah, yeah. You stuck. You need to make a decision. Are you the light with the cheat and the light? You need to make a fucking decision. Are you the light or are you the dark? You can't come off as light and shit. Isn't Aries doing this shit possibly, okay? Gossip. Somebody gossiping. Somebody who, somebody gossiping about your fucking firm foundation. I feel like somebody's also gossiping about somebody's body or somebody's relationship. People are talking about a couple. I think, feel like they're putting their fucking foot in their mouth. They're spying on this couple. They can't figure this couple out. So, it looks like you're healing after heartache and loss. This just gives me like a uh, nature healing food, organic foods, like eating healthier healing. You could have lost a child, then you're healing from that. I'm really sorry for those who lost a child. Yeah, but some of you are healing from just constant being around mentally ill fucking people who are just trying to like destroy you. I mean, you'd be surprised at, at what the effects of narcissistic abuse do. Rescuer. So people are remembering you, memories of love. People are thinking about how many times you helped them out. Yeah, how you're a sweetheart and shit and you've always been there for people. And motherfuckers try to traffic you. <laughs> shit. Somebody also going to play like the rescuer. They're going to come up to you and say, do you remember when we did this? Maybe somebody you dated and shit. They're going to come up to you and offer you some shit and act like they want to date you again. But be careful because this mother, this motherfucker may have another idea up their sleeve and shit. Prostitute is right after that. So please be careful. Some of you are coming off as prostitutes like somebody, an emotional loss. I don't know if somebody's favorite prostitute maybe is retiring, I don't know what the fuck that is, or hopefully it's not something like someone's house gets raided for prostitution is a possibility. Somebody could be uh, finding out that somebody's daughter is a prostitute and they're having they're they're not happy about the shit. Obviously, somebody thought their daughter was sober is a possibility. Somebody's trying to get sober and they're losing their mind. They're like, damn, man, my life was better when I was high. At least I could go through these times where nobody else is around uh, and feel good. Okay. Some of you are like, damn, is this fucking being sober shit worth it? You know what I'm saying? Ace of cups. There's your answer. Absolutely. You get blessed by the hand of God when you, when you, when he sees you doing work on yourself. All right. From somebody else though, somebody going to try and come at you and saying that they're sober and that, you know, they understand how they hurt you or this, that, or the other. They're going to put on the waterworks with the Ace of Cups, but it's a fucking setup. And at home, they could be trying to get you in a home or some shit like that. It's a fucking setup. Some of you are working. Some of you are working out. Yeah, you're working out. Some of you could be sore or you need to work out and stretch. I'm getting like stretched from first looking at this card. Like a lot of you need to start stretching and shit. And like I see these arms, I just, it reminds me of stretching. I feel like a lot of you need to stretch. Look, need rest. Absolutely. Some of you just need to chill. 
child, orphan, and passion ignited. So you may realize you want to help kids. You may want to help orphans. You may want to actually um, adopt a child. Some of you are like, damn, if I didn't want to adopt a child now and raise a child with these new beliefs I got that are going to bring people together instead of tearing them apart. Look, taking a leap of faith. Some of you literally are going to, they're thinking about adopting a child or becoming a foster parent and shit. Um, that you could be a cancer lover. Somebody has a good relationship with the lover and the harmony. So for those of you who have a solid relationship, thank God. Okay. Yeah. You on the good side of karma. You see this person as you're fortunate to have you girl could be a Libra or you're a Libra. Or this is just justice that you have this in this lifetime. This is your justice. It's your destiny to have harmony and a good relationship. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of uh, Cups. That's your divine birthright and shit. Samaritan. So somebody's looking at you. Somebody who claimed to be a fucking good person is looking at you pissed off. I feel like, I don't know. Somebody somebody that had thought they had authority doesn't like your strength. Somebody who thought that maybe you were weak and shit is seeing another side of you. And I feel like it's a masculine energy looking at a feminine energy. You can't trust this motherfucker. All right. This could actually be a police officer. May try to like, I don't know, may try to overpower somebody. You're being told to fucking, uh, you can't trust this person. Can't trust it. All right. Visionary. And transformation, yeah. I, I feel like people are looking at you and they're like, holy shit. Like, like, I wonder what the end result is going to be for this person. I feel like people who were going against some of you, I mean, yeah, they know that you're here. They know they're watching you. And they know that, that you're going to make a big difference in this world and that you came here to do great things. A lot of the people who were against you, I'm keeping it a hundred. They are, this could be your mother. They are now for you. They're learning from you. They can't stop watching you and shit. You know, some of you are just like you dress in more sexy. You're aware that this is the energy you're giving off. So with that third eye chakra, I feel like you're aware of what's going on around you because you may be coming off as available and you're not. So be aware of what, what energy you're giving off. Yeah, you also may be coming off as a little too guarded. Some of you need to drop your car, your guard a little bit. Some of you, it's because you're under some kind of a spell that you're wary about this person. <laughs> so the student... So you're very successful at being the student and then being the teacher, being both. You could be this king of wands or you're teaching this person a lot about life. Sagittarius, you could be teaching them balance in their life and temperance and how to calm like obsessive compulsive behaviors or, or like um, addictive behaviors, family. So for some of you, your family is aware They may want to reconcile with you. For some of you, you need to reconcile with your family or Pisces, a family of Pisces, this family, or you're a Pisces and you need to reconcile with your family, a bully. What's up with this bully? So you're like a demon slayer. Your part of your destiny is like slaying demons and shit, which is like bullies to me. I also feel like people know that you're destined for greatness and shit and they see it in you and they're intimidated to come even and approach you. Okay. Yeah, you're intimidating. People see you as very beautiful and you're uh, resourceful. You seem to always get what you want. You're happy. And because somebody hacked your phone. Wah, 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 right? That's fucking great. You're on a journey. Look at that. Yeah. Look, I can use my shadow side. Okay. Don't make me bring it out. If I can, I'm on a journey and shit. So excuse me if I curse, excuse me if I show some darkness, but I'm going to try and show more light than I, than I possibly can shit says you. Yeah. There's a king of cups who may be working out of their shadow side, or you may be helping this person deal with their shadow side and you don't even know it. All right. Work. This person may be putting the work in because of you. Okay. This is also could be somebody that you work with a, a thief. You know, thief and power, this tells me this is like the matrix shit, you know? Like they thought that they had power to steal our shit from us and our ancestors and shit. Yeah, fucking wrong, right? Making decisions too quick and shit. Somebody thought that they had the power to steal your fucking shit. Wrong. 
Frog could be an Aquarius. Somebody thought that they overpowered you. I don't know where they got off thinking that shit. There's an energy vampire could be this Aquarius. There's an energy vampire watching you get all of your wishes. Look, they're just watching you and shit. Like up in the corner and, and like sleeping mode, right? They watch you in the middle of the night. They watch you all hours of the day and night. They're just watching you getting your wish fulfilled, okay? This could be this karmic female or they're watching you be beautiful, courageous, sexy and shit, good at what you do. Otherwise, there's a fucking uh, narcissist karmic female that's watching you get your fulfillment of which of wishes. And some of you need to go out in nature, clear your energy and shit. So you're realizing that everything you touch turns to gold. As long as you have a good, positive, energetic presence you take with you everywhere you go, good things happen to you. Yeah. Yeah. And that you're walking justice. A lot of you are walking Carmen. You're understanding this. Yeah. Capricorn. You bring justice to people in devilish energy. I need you to stay. Jack of all trades. I get drunk and wasted. Somebody gets fucking drunk and wasted. You stood your ground. You kept your eyes on the prize, which was you. Okay. You realize that you are the motherfucking prize. Look at this. The star. You can't make it up. You are the prize. You're realizing this. Like, damn, I know my worth, Virgo. I'm the real fucking magician up in here. These are my natural, born, given talents to manifest great and amazing things just on cue. Because you're an earth angel. Earth angel. Earth angel. You came here to bring stability to this planet and shit. Yeah, that's why you're sowing good seeds. You're sowing good seeds. You need to fast. You need to fast. You need to invest in fasting or changing your diet. Some of you need to cut meat out of your diet and shit. So a lot of you, uh, somebody who embracing negative causes or committing to causes for personal gain, somebody's trapped in fear. They're embarrassed because what they were planning on doing to somebody came out. The kind of person that they really are came out. Yeah, something about someone's death. I feel like this person wishes that they were even dead and shit, okay? Female. This could be a female feeling like this, actually, and not a male. Don Juan, somebody who's a... They, yeah. The universe may be exposing somebody for being exactly the opportunist. We'll see. Yeah, look, look here. It's all me. Drinks are on me. I got this. Pick up the tab. Somebody who's a, the universe is handling somebody who was one of them. I got it. I got this. I got yachts. I got this. I fucking, you know, want to be. Who is this? Scorpio. You could be a Scorpio. Goddess. There she is. Right. The waiting game. I feel like somebody's willing to wait for you. If you know you're a divine feminine, you're in this goddess energy. Maybe you're being told to wait for the right person to come around. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you may be like, maybe you're waiting on somebody to call you back or text you back or some shit like that. You're a goddess. You don't fucking wait for nobody. This is the universe telling you, you don't wait for nobody and shit. You know, get up. 13 minutes, 13 seconds. Yes, look, yes. You don't wait for nobody. You're a goddess when you're in goddess energy and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you were a pioneer and you got through so many obstacles and challenges and kept this heart center, you remain good in spirit, pure at heart and spirit. This is why this material harvest shit is coming in right here. Yeah, you know it. Yeah, you're just like, do, 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 do. I'm just waiting for it to come in. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's coming and shit, right? You could be getting a car. You know that you're getting a brand new car. Some of you are excited because you're getting a brand new fucking car. It's the first time you ever had one. I picked the wrong women. For some of you, you're understanding that you can't pick the same women that you used to for dating, for friends. It doesn't matter to work with, work around, and you're being rewarded and recognized because you're understanding for you men out there. Maybe you're deciding to change the type of women that you like. I don't know. Yeah, look, you got your guard up and shit. You're like, you don't want just anybody in your life now is what I'm seeing here with you guys. Yeah, no one that has an STD. Look at that. <laughs> Nobody that's loose. It's like, this is like a new time where like we want what we give. So if we want genuine authenticity, we understand we have to be that shit. A lot of you are getting closer to your mysticism and you're manifesting and you're creating a whole new beginning for yourself on a good tip. All right. With that good mysticism and shit. Yeah. Some of you are like really strong. Your words are very powerful. You need to be aware there's a male here who's very, his words are very powerful, or this could actually be even somebody, one of your ancestors who was a good mystic. 
and they're helping you bring in this. This could be a male ancestor of yours, literally, that was into mysticism and is helping you bring in this, this new beginning. So we got detective and foundations. There could be people watching your home or somebody you're connected to. There could be detectives or some kind of person watching you. Yeah, because maybe somebody lied and said you were a thief or this is somebody else that you're connected to. A liar, a, a thief, a crook. Not pregnant. I don't know what the fuck that means, but you know, for those of you who are wondering if you're pregnant by this lying, deceiving, cheating crook, um, thank God that you're not servant. So a lot of you, you, um, you're done with being a servant in your relationships, and you realize that when you're be a servant to yourself first, and you love yourself. Then you track that love begins shit. Now you can go and love somebody else as much as you love yourself. But damned if you be doing it more. I think the fuck not. Facts. Yeah, we don't go for this wang wang. A lot of us are celibate and shit. We're, we're, we're of service to ourselves now. All right? Yeah, no. No, with that wang wang. If some of you are asking, like, can I? No, you do whatever you want. All right? Yeah, you're not a slave. We're not slaves. I was going to say, you're not a fucking slave. Use your intuition, man. Yeah. Use your intuition. Nobody tells us what to do. Yeah, you're free. Look at this. Let's ask your ancestors and shit if you have some answers. I don't know. There could somebody be somebody from prison that wants to reconcile with you or some shit like that. Or there's a Sagittarius going to jail. I don't know. Addict. Somebody's an addict here. Somebody's moving on from an addict. Maybe somebody got away from an addict. Yeah, there's there's it again with the nine of cups. Somebody's an addict. Somebody, somebody's moving on. They're embarrassed. I don't know if they said they weren't and somebody walked in and found that somebody's more of an addict than they possibly could have imagined. Somebody could have put this on social media and shit. Somebody made a bad decision to post somebody's addiction or somebody getting high or they have a video of somebody getting high or some shit like that. Yeah, look, all fucked up and high, drunk home in someone's home and I feel like they're they're using this for blackmail somebody could be using that shit for black you people are just fucking crying yeah somebody's a victim of blackmail here somebody was very deceptive to somebody and now it's like or this person plays victim a lot and shit yeah that somebody's realizing they were used for fucking money so there's a female or sister or something like that that's realizing that maybe that she's either a user for money or she's being used for money put it how it fits trickster yeah trickster be careful of somebody coming back in your life acting like they want to be friends or date you and this motherfucker want to sacrifice you man i'm telling you yeah because you look innocent and you're on a fucking journey you're going to attract a lot of negative people and shit yeah some of you it's your brother you need to be wary about your brother trying to come back and he's a, you know he's a trickster you know he's a manipulator he's always got a fucking story there's my manipulator card and shit somebody hopes that you, you, you don't see through their bullshit. Somebody hopes that you don't see through their fucking bullshit. Yeah, they're sitting there studying, trying to figure out how to come back into your life for some reason or another. Uh, this could be a cousin for some of you, and they don't want you to see through them. For some of you, it's your mother. Your mother's going through obstacles and challenges, or your mother's creating them for you. Put it how it fits could be over a king of pentacles this could be over a boss or a father maybe the two of them are having obstacles and challenges this could be an ant this could involve an ant there's maybe a problem with an ant of yours i picked the wrong men is here yeah so a lot of success with that a lot of you have realized i have not had success because i'm i'm literally the person that i've been attracting and you're realizing this is why you've picked the wrong men yeah the dark men that have a lot of secrets because maybe you had secrets at the time and you weren't being your authentic self so you attracted these guys who aren't being their authentic self it makes it real hard to blame somebody right you can trust this person though maybe because you picked the wrong men in the past you weren't sure how things were going to go with this person but it says you can trust this person all right child you have childhood wounds somebody's not healing their childhood wounds and they're all like blaming everything that happened as a child on why they are fucked up in the head well my mom and my dad and this this is somebody's like literally blaming the shit since birth not wanting to be here and shit damn this could be somebody's son that's saying this somebody's son is like blaming every fucking thing on their parents every problem they have in their life god God's helping a lot of you move forward, right? Look at that. Sailing takes me away to where I'm going. Do, do, do. A lot of you are just like on this God high and shit, okay? 
Yeah, people are looking at you like, what in the fuck is it with this person? You're like, I'm high on God and shit. Drink water. God's like, yeah, be high on me, but drink some water and shit. You know what I mean? Because you can get dry mouth being high on God and shit. Shit. So, for someone, there's somebody who's actually coming to you with some truth. Somebody may be finally ready to, like, just tell you the truth about some shit. I don't know about how they feel about you. For some of you, it's somebody that you've been dating. And they could be coming with flowers or chocolate or a gift or some shit like that. You could be a Taurus, but there's somebody that sees you, a prince. Like, they see you as the truth. Sweet. Child of nature. So, some of, there's somebody who, shit. Somebody putting their hands on a child. Yeah, look at this. With the fucking page of cups. Somebody, somebody's child just doesn't, somebody's child is, somebody needs to pay more attention to their child or they are pregnant and they already have a child and they don't know what to do with this fucking baby. Like they didn't really want it. Yeah, maybe they were fooled by somebody. That financial changes. They were told by somebody, I'll take care of you and the baby. We're going to do this. I got this coming and this, that, and the other. And it's just like, now what? You're a fucking knight of pentacles? What? Somebody's money slowed down. Yeah, somebody also was a fool and thought they could slow your fucking money down and shit. This could be a Gemini. Storyteller. There could be a, gen a Gemini that's a storyteller. Maybe wants to, to, to find some balance with you and shit. Or they're saying that they're balanced. But, you know, I don't know. If you know that this person is a fucking storyteller and shit, yeah. Look, it's a Gemini. There's there's a Gemini. There's a female that's a fucking lion sack of shit storyteller. Leo. Could be a Leo or somebody talking to a Leo and is a good storyteller. Knight. Patience. So yeah, I feel like you having patience and being loyal to being patient and being honorable and doing the right thing is why this, this card is the next one to come out and shit. Somebody could have tried to steal a large sum of money with the thief. Somebody was patiently trying to figure out maybe how trying to set up a fucking robbery of somebody. Yeah, at night, that's not going to fucking work. Somebody falsified documents too about a large sum of money. Somebody lied and forged documents and shit. Yeah, they're defeated though because somebody knows about it. They're caught. Somebody's father. This could be some of you. This is your father that forged documents. So some of you, uh, Divine Feminine, you keep climbing mountains and you're like, you're actually like, um, you're inspiring people, woman. You're inspiring people. Damn if you are. Yeah, look, there's Divine Feminine, Queen of Cups. You're inspiring people to do better. This could be a cheater. Maybe, maybe you're getting back at all the people who cheated on you and shit by changing. Yeah. Becoming a born again and shit. I don't know. You're celibate. You understand it helps you manifest all that retention. Yeah. Look at you. Mind, pure mind, body, and spirit. Yeah. It looks like you're, you're dude celibate too. Yeah, you're guiding this person. This person sees you as a guide. Maybe you're helping this person purge some emotions and just go through some dark night of the soul. You're a guide sent to this person or they see you as a guide. Maybe you're guiding people all the time. Like, you're, I just want somebody to help guide me and shit. Healer. You're a healer. Somebody tries to cause disruption of a healer. Somebody tried to fuck with somebody who came here to help this world. I keep talking about this, right? Yeah. And and they know. You're too, when you're healed, you understand when somebody's no good for you. You read auras. You know, your discernment's on fleek. So, you, you turn down shit. Yeah, people feel like you're turning them down and there must be an energy you're giving off. Yeah, I'm not gambling with that shit. You're like, I'm not gambling with my energy and shit, especially when it comes to somebody I'm, I'm going to call myself in a fucking union with. You're very protective of your energy. Truth. Anybody that comes into your life's got to be solid, as solid as you. You see things from both sides. You're very kind, you know. Some of you need to get some rest. I don't know, like you need to fit some uh, rest and relaxation time into your life. 
Yeah, you need to find balance, like equal give and take. It's either you're working too much or not enough, or you're, you got the kids too much or not enough. There's something that's not balanced. You need to find some kind of balance. Balance, yeah. Some of you need to find balance when you're mixing shit to drink. You're making your drinks either too strong or too fucking weak. I don't know where that came from. Some of you have a lot of patience. You learned alchemy. You learned, you know, you, you were patient. You didn't ask for the patience and shit, though. And you made the best of a situation. And this is the outcome. Ten of Cups. Look at this. Because you were patient and because you, you learned lessons and shit. This, this gives me like sunshine energy. Like you and the sun. Like you, you, you see the sun as a companion. The sun helps you through things. Yeah, helps you move forward. You see the sun is like a, helping you move forward positively. You may be getting some kind of judgment in your favor that's going to help you move forward. Maybe some money you had coming towards you that you didn't even know that you had coming from the most high. Or you're a Taurus and you're receiving this. Priest. So you're a channel. So maybe your partner sees you as a channel uh, for spirit energy. This person that you're with, you could be channeling messages to this person and not even realize it. You could work with this person. Somebody tried to sabotage you. They're now in solitude. Somebody trying to sabotage you, but they can't get to you because you're in solitude. Or somebody that tried to fuck you up is now sitting by themselves. Yeah. Thinking about the shit that they attempted to do or the shit that they've done. Yeah, look, hermit. Somebody's sitting there like, damn, look. They got to go over everything, literally. It's like somebody's going through it, man. They may be hearing shit. It could have been something they found out. They could have got a message that put them in this hermit mode and shit. Hold on a second, guys. Okay. Maybe because they messed with a child of the universe, a magical person that, that brings light. Yeah, they, they, they tried to have, they thought that somebody was going to go back and forth with them and shit. They wanted to bring problems into their life. They got a lot of problems they can't handle on their own. They came off like all holier and thou and shit. Yeah, maybe coming off spiritual. Spirituality for a lot of you is what help you move on to calmer waters, having a calmer, peaceful life. Your spirituality is like... What got you through so much shit I'm seeing. This is great. You could be very good with your words. Somebody that may be coming in to tempt you with some shit. See how these are both red. I feel like there could be like a devilish type energy coming in. And they're going to have sweet words for some of you motherfuckers too, man. With this poet card. I think you, yeah, you're, you're, you're too, you know. You, you, you're very good at reading people. So you already know that this person is like, you know, a slick Rick and shit. Yeah. They may be good at, they're going to wind up having to beg. They're going to see you celebrate and they're going to be, first of all, somebody could be begging for money for alcohol. Somebody could be begging for a drink or something. I don't know. Somebody could be begging for their job back because maybe they were partying at work or before work or coming in late. So there is a queen or a female that may reach out to you, throat chakra, that may be speaking or saying something to you. Somebody may want to, or they're watching you speak. There may be a female that's watching you speak. They may be watching you through tarot, watching you do tarot, shapeshifter and crown chakra. So there could be somebody trying to put confusion on you, confusion spells. Yeah, it won't work. You have too much light. Just stay in your light energy. The shit won't work. You may be asked to open your heart up to somebody who may need some help. I don't know if this person may have betrayed you or some shit like that. But if you are embodying this empress, you know what your 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 job is here on the planet. Okay? Someone sees you as a fucking martyr. You're going to be successful at everything that you do because you have a pure heart. You're a child of the divine, so of course you get backstabbed and betrayed. We understand this now. When you're a child of God, just expect this shit, all right? But you're mentoring. You're helping other people move on, all right? You could be a cancer, or this is a cancer that, that is learning from you. <laughs> you're a mentor. This person sees you as a warrior. You are a demon slayer. That's what I said to you guys. You're a fucking warrior. You're slaying principalities and negative energy. You're liberating people from karma and judgment. You're helping people get out of 
destructive behavior that keeps bringing karma into their life and they didn't even realize it. Somebody's trying to figure out how to destroy you. Figure these nuts, we say. All right? Try to destroy these nuts. Yeah. Yeah, somebody knows that the shit is coming because they tried to destroy a fucking messiah. Yeah, they know exactly what's coming for them. You're a child eternal. They can try and backstab you a million times. I feel like there's millions of times that somebody literally tried to even take you out. But people are realizing that you're meant to be here. This could have been black. Look at this black magic and the fucking magician come up at the same time. People are still doing spells, you guys. Is this fucking insane? So some masculine energy could do be doing fucking spells on your relationship. It won't work. That shit goes right back to sender and shit. Yeah, you need an exorcist and shit. You're damn near. Look, you, people are walking away from this person. They just see this person as demonic and shit. Like, bitch, I'm telling you, every time I'm around you, I get three scratches and shit. I don't know. Somebody's haunted. Somebody realizes they can't break you, man. You're a rebel and they're not going to, you know, they're learning from you and they can't stand it. They don't want to even admit that like, I'm learning how to be like a, a positive rebel without hurting people from you because you're good at it. You know, you're good at it. So that's the messages. I love you guys. I hope you liked it. I love you. Bye.